Hello, hello, Sarah of S.E.K. Handmade here, and today I want to share with you how to crochet around a hoop or a ring. I love making crocheted earrings, and since it's springtime, I always start thinking about crocheted earrings this time of year. And I start all of my crocheted earring patterns by crocheting around the hoop of the earring. And so while crocheting with thread and crocheting around a hoop can be a bit finicky at first, it's a fun skill to have and I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks today to help make it as easy as possible. All right, I'm going to set my earrings to the side so that our video stays nice and focused so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, obviously, teeny stitches with an earring are use crochet thread and a very small hook. Today, though, I'm going to be using a larger hook, a hoop that I found in the macrame section of Hobby Lobby, and some worsted weight yarn. And I do have a keychain pattern that uses all three of these, but before you get started with a specific pattern, make sure you check the yarn, the hoop, and the hook size. All right, every time you do this, you're gonna start the same way, the same way you start almost every crochet project with a slip knot. Now, I usually put the slip knot on my hook, and then I stick my hook and the tail of my yarn through my hoop. This puts my working yarn through the center of my hoop, which is what you want. Now, you might be asking, well, Sarah, that seems unnecessarily complicated. Can't I just reach through the ring and put the hook through the slip knot and pull that through the center? And to you, I say, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> All right. To start off, I would recommend holding your tail to the right, and I usually pinch the hoop and the yarn, the tail yarn, with my thumb and middle finger, and I'm tensioning with my pointer finger. To very start, you're gonna go over your hoop and pull a loop through your slip knot. That's just fastening the yarn. It's all the way around my hoop now, and that's a good time to tighten it up. That's just getting the yarn connected to my hoop. To start your first stitch, you're gonna go through the center of your hoop, pull up a loop, then you're gonna go yarn over above your hoop and pull through to make a single crochet. Let me show you that again. Holding my tail to the right side, I'm going to go through the center of my hoop, yarn over, pull up a loop, gonna go above my hoop, yarn over, and pull through the stitches on my hook. And you can see I have one, two stitches on my hook now. Let's do that again. Go through the center of your hoop, yarn over, pull up a loop, Go over the top of your hoop and pull through the stitches on your hook. One last time and then I'm going to show you an alternative. Go through the center of your hoop, yarn over, pull up a loop, go yarn over on the top above your hoop and pull through. All right, I'm going to take this all apart and I'm going to start over again to show you a slightly different way that you can work this. If you are like me and you do not like weaving in ends, even though if you use a, um, for little projects like this, if you use a needle point, cross stitch needle to weave in your ends, I find it to be perfect. A sewing needle is a little too sharp and you can split your threads. But if you use a cross-stitching needle instead, they're a little more rounded on the end and they slide through the yarn 
really nicely. But if you hate weaving in ends, you can save an end woven in, or less weaving in at the very least, by working back over your tail. And I'm gonna show you how. So, put the slip knot onto your hook. I'm gonna do it my old way. I'm gonna slip this hook and the tail of my yarn through the center of my hoop so that my working yarn is going through the center of my hoop. All right, this time, instead of holding the tail to the right, I'm gonna move it to the left. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before, only I'm gonna work around my hoop and my tail. So you're gonna yarn over above your hoop first, pull up a stitch, and that is securing the yarn to your hoop. Again, pull it tight, and that makes your first stitch nice and tight, which makes the beginning of your um, stitches really nice. All right, so I'm holding my tail end of my yarn on the left this time, but it's the same process. You're going to go under both your yarn and your hoop, pull up a loop, yarn over above your hoop, and pull through both stitches on your hook, and you have a single crochet. The difference now is my yarn is trapped between the stitches along with my hoop. So, and these can tend, your stitches can tend to kind of wiggle back and forth around your hoop. That is totally fine. They'll all lay back flat when you're done making your stitches. So again, we're gonna go through the center of my hoop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over above, and pull through both stitches. Go through the center. Just make sure you're not going between your yarn and your hoop. As long as you're going through them together, it's gonna to trap that yarn between your stitches as well. Go below the hoop and pull up a loop. Yarn over above the hoop and pull through. Yarn over below the hoop, pull up a loop. Yarn over above and pull through. I'm just going right through the center of my, my hoop and trapping that yarn in there too. And it's that simple. You can see my stitches kind of wobbled, but when I'm done, I can simply just straighten them all up and they are good to go. So that is how you crochet around a hoop or a ring. Written instructions for this are in the description below, as well as links to the patterns that I use this technique in if you'd like to try it out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips and tutorials, and happy crafting!